This chair still has the original stuffing of horsehair and cotton. I added a layer of cotton and dacron, then covered it with muslin. So we start from here. I have tacked the muslin and is now ready for stapling. When you are doing the front folds, my tip here is that you do the folds on the muslin too for practice. The cuts I am doing here are similar to those I did with the dining chairs video where I cut the excess fabric for less bulk. And here's my other tip. I use this kitchen tool to have a crisp fold on the muslin. Just out of curiosity, what tool have you repurposed for upholstery? Write and share in the comments below. Now for the dacron. Measure enough dacron to cover the seat, taking into account the four sides and secure with staples around the chair. For the corners, cut where the dacron meets with no overlap. Again, this is for less bulk in the corners. For the back corners, cut pointing your scissors to the inside corner post, then push the dacron around the posts. Cut the excess dacron and secure with staples. I use my handy dandy kitchen tool to push the dacron in. After laying the fabric, and because this pattern has points or dots, I want those points to align on the front edge of the chair. I smoothen the fabric taut and staple the back and the sides with temporary staples. Then, I check the alignment of the design pattern. For the cuts on the back, I did the same thing as what I did with the dacron. I pointed my scissors to the inside corner of the post. And if the material does not wrap around the post smoothly, then small additional cuts have to be made. Always cut excess fabric to lessen the bulk in the fold. You can also push the fabric in on the groove for a clean look. For the sides of the chair on the front leg, I need to make a cut where my thumb is. After making the cut, the one on the left needs to be stapled under the chair and the one on the right needs to be trimmed and folded and wrapped around the front leg of the chair. I smoothen the fabric again to make sure it's nice and taut in preparation for the front fold. I notice a dip here at the back, so my tip would be to use some loose cotton or dacron to use as filling, that would even up the form of the chair. For the back, smooth the fabric taut and staple. And here's another tip. Use the other end of the regulator, the flat side, to push the dacron inside and keep a clean line of fabric that aligns with the post. I notice another slight dip here at the back, so I will use Dacron to even up the surface. For the front fold around the legs, tuck the extra fabric under the fold, fold the fabric under the chair, and secure with staples. Pull the folded fabric around the legs and secure with staples. Here, I am doing a square cut, which is similar to those I did on the dining chairs video. I will also add a link in the description below. I am going to make a cut right where my left thumb is, so I can cut the fabric and fold it neatly underneath the chair. Here, I am using the flat edge of the regulator again to get a nice, sharp, and clean edge on the fold.
For the other leg on the front, we cut towards the point and cut the excess so we can tuck it neatly underneath the leg post. I have done a previous video on how to attach weld cord. I will also add that in the description below. The decorative nails add a nice touch on the corners. The corners would later be blind stitched for a clean look.